good afternoon. It's Sunday and it's cloudy and rainy, so it's a perfect day to get into the kitchen and cook. But in this COVID-19 environment where we're all sheltering in place, every day is a good day to cook. So what I'm gonna make for you today is really simple. I like to use simmer sauces. Uh, this particular brand is for tops and it's a tikka masala spicy curry simmering sauce. You can find it in most supermarkets. I will tell you to be cautious because they do have a heat rating. We like it spicy in this house, so this particular version is hot. How are we gonna prepare this today? Well, I've julienned about a half an onion, half a red pepper, and half a green pepper, minced a whole clove of garlic, and I have some bay leaves also to go into this. We're gonna prepare our chicken. Now, this has already been seasoned overnight. Even though, according to the cooking instructions, you can just dice up your chicken, about a pound and a half, I like to keep my chicken pieces a little larger and I season them overnight. I don't wanna have my chicken taste like plain, unseasoned chicken with sauce on it. So we have our chicken. I'm also going to serve this with naan bread. It goes great with the traditional Indian basmati, but this is also a nice alternative. And this is stone fire, and uh, this is the mini naan breads, and they're really good. So before we start the chicken, I'm going to show you how I prepare the naan bread, keep it warm, and then we'll get into the main dish. So we are going to prepare our naan bread. I have a nice warm griddle that I have brushed with a little olive oil. If you don't have a griddle pan, uh, you can put it in a frying pan that will fit the naan bread. And it's nice and warm. And I'm just going to take the naan, place it on the griddle, both pieces, and I'm going to brush a little bit more on the top as well. And you can kind of hear it sizzling. You don't want it to fry. You do want it to get nice and warm, and that'll take a minute or two on each side. So, split this, split this. These have a really light buttery taste, and the olive oil just really makes it all that more flavorful. Since I'm going to keep these warm anyway, I am going to take them off of my griddle, wrap them up in some foil, and stick them in my oven to keep warm. ready to prepare our chicken. What I have in a warm pan, hot pan actually, is some refined coconut oil. Uh, since this is an Indian dish, I like to cook with coconut oil when I make Indian foods. Um, it's also a healthy fat, so it's pretty good. Uh, the chicken, as I mentioned before, was seasoned overnight, and I did season it with a little bit of salt. Not too much, because we're using the simmer sauce, and that has salt in it, but I did add some additional curry and this is uh, Penzi's curry, the now curry, just a little bit again just to give it some extra flavor. So now that this pan is nice and hot, we are going to brown our chicken. I actually use chicken thighs because I find them to be a little bit more succulent, juicy, uh, than chicken breast which can easily overcook and dry out. So we're just gonna get our chicken thighs into this pan and let them brown on both sides. And that'll take a couple of minutes. So we're gonna let this go ahead and then I'll show you the next step. So I'm back. The chicken is nicely brown 
and I am going to take my vegetables and my aromatics and just add them in. So we've got the onions, the garlic, the green peppers, and the red peppers, and the bay leaf, and we are just going to add those in. Spread it around, stir it up a little bit. They don't have to brown per se, but just let them sweat a little bit so that the flavors start to meld together. We're going to turn the heat down just a little bit. So now that the vegetables and the aromatics have sweated out a bit and you can really start to smell everything now, it smells so good. I am going to add the simmer sauce. So twist the gap open and just pour it in. If you want, you can take a little bit of water or even a little bit of chicken broth uh, to add to the jar just to thin it out a little bit and have a little bit more sauce. That's optional, that's up to you. But for right now, this is where we are going to leave this. I'm gonna stir it around again just so the simmer sauce can touch every single piece of meat, piece of chicken, I should say, and every piece of the vegetable. And I'm gonna put this on simmer. And I am going to leave this here for it to finish cooking, which will take about another 25 minutes or so. Cover it up and let the stove do its thing. Here we are with the finished dish. We've got our chicken tikka masala and our naan bread. And I'm just gonna finish it up with a nice little sprinkle of cilantro, just to add to the colors. I hope you try it and enjoy it.